2007 on a 57 Porsche Cayman, 2.7 litre manual. This one's the five speed manual, 2.7 litre petrol engine in blue with the black interior. Body weight wise, we're going to start off the bonnet, work our way around onto the interior, and then we'll go for an engine start up. Nice and straight up the bonnet, all nice and tidy, no major dings or dents. A few little marks here and there, odd little tree. Tree sat mark here down the pit where all nice and tidy on the front there. The headlights are all nice and clear both sides. Wing top on the left hand side, all nice and tidy and clean. Down the left hand side, no scuffs or scrapes there. A few little stone chips across the front edge there, no major issues. And on the left hand side, uh, right hand side again, no scuffs or scrapes, just a few little stone chips and bits and pieces there. As we come up the driver's wing top, we've got some, it's obviously been painted at some point, we've got some light sanding marks in the paint on the driver's wing top there. Can't really see it until the nose is against it. Come around the arch, all nice and straight. You've got no rust coming through on the paint side of things. A few little stone chips on the inside arch lip. Matching wheels all the way around on this one. Like I say, a few little marks at the top. It has had some paint work on the wing top. As you come up onto the driver's pillar, you'll see we've got some sun fading, some cracking in the lacquer just on the pillar itself, sort of there on the rooftop. The rest of the roof is all okay, apart from a few little bird poo marks, tree sap marks, it's all all right. But that just wants some attention there. We were a cap uncracked on both sides. Nothing entirely down the driver's door. No major things or dents of that to see. A little bit of light scratching around the handle here and there, but no rust or anything nasty at all. No big dings or dents down the quarter or the door itself. Lower half of the rear quarter, all nice and tidy around the arch. No rust coming through there. Nice and straight, not hammering stone chips. PPF doing its, its job there. No pin flake around the vent either. You've got a little light surface scratch or stone chip here and there. Some very, very light little bubbles under the paint here. You can see that, that's on the driver's rear quarter. Again, your nose has got to be touching it and notice any of that. Nice and tidy on the right-hand side of the rear bumper. Rear light lenses are lovely and clean. Across the back bumper, on the left-hand side again, no scuffs or scrapes at all on the bumper on the corners. Lovely and clear on the rear lights. And the back bumper itself, in nice condition. There's no dings or dents across the back bumper, no heavy scratching. Just a little mark here and there on the right hand side, some very, very light scratching there. Up onto the boot lid itself again, all nice and tidy, nice and flat on the paint side of things. Across the boot lid itself. There's the odd little bird poo mark here and there, you can see them there, odd little bird poo mark. I just want a bit of a polish this one just to square some of that dirt away there. As you can see on the left hand side, we haven't got the problem that we have on the right hand side with the lacquer fade on the top. Rear quarters all nice and straight, no dings or dents, no rust coming through on the arch there that I can see at all. Lovely and level down the left hand side. Around the vents again, no paint flake around there. Across the lower half of the sill section, all nice and tidy, a few little stone chips down there. Up the door, lovely and straight again, no dings or dents, no heavy scratching at all around the handle, all nice and flat on the paint side of things. And once again, no cracks to the wing mirror on the left hand side. Down the door gap there, nice and tidy, it meets the wing, a few little stone chips, the odd light surface scratch on the wing itself, but all nice and tidy down the wing top, no problems there, the odd light surface scratch, the odd little stone chip, and no rust once again coming through on the arch, got a few little touch-ins there, tiny little stone chip bleb there on the left hand arch, I'll show you the wheel and tyre as well while we're here. Onto the interior now. Lovely and tidy on the door card. No rips or tears, the door card there, all nice and presentable across the top half. A few little marks, once a little bit of a clean, but no major scratching around the window switches or the door opener. Seat itself nice and tidy once again, no rips or tears. A little bit of creasing with some decolor, decoloration there on the, on the bolster itself, but no rips or tears, nice and tidy on the bottom. Insert swab, all lovely and clean. Got some mats there, followed by some of the mats keeping the carpet set all nice and clean. Dashboard's uncracked across the top dashboard there. Dials are lovely and clear. You'll see the mileage there on H2791. Lovely and tidy down the centre console, all nice and standard. No aftermarket head unit for it. Not fitted, not much to wear, not too much wear to the centre console. 
or the gear selector. A little bit of wear to the armrest there, but apart from that, nice and clean. Headlining seems to be nice and tidy with no marks on that either. Into the boot now, all nice and tidy in the boot with your cargo net at the back there, all very nice and tidy in there. Onto the front now, again, lovely and tidy on the door card, no rips or tears, the passenger front door card. Carpet sets nice and clean, so is the dashboard. Minimal wear once again to the bolster, no rips or tears or any discolorations. There's a few little creases on the bolster, which is to be expected, but apart from that, lovely and fresh inside there into the front storage compartment now nice to see all the plastics are still there your two loads are still there for your battery there normally missing by now all nice and tidy in the front storage compartment no heavy stains in there at all james is going to fire it up here and we will go to the back of the car because obviously it's mid-engine this one but look, fire it up there no nasty noises coming out of that there it is cold, so I'm not going to start revving it up or anything like that. We'll check for any warning lights on the dashboard on this one. You need to shut the front. I need to shut the front, sorry. Apologies there. It's saying please shut the front, which I will do so now. There you go. No need to slam anything on these. No warning lights on the dash there. No, just a few. A few lights on? Yeah, if you flick it, it's not throwing any one out. There we go, and there you have it. The 2007 on the 57 Porsche Cayman 2.7 litre petrol 5-speed manual.